Read the sound out loud. If I no, don't. No. Welcome to Captain Brawl's Hotel. Hello and welcome to the Captain Brawl Hotel. Right, you have four, four different types of rooms to go to. You have the small house, which is everything you need. You've then got the medium house, which is everything you need and more. You then have the large house, which is everything you need and even more. And then you've got the luxury house, which is just, yeah, the luxury house. Okay, so now we're going to move up first. So, these are the small houses, very cheap. They'll satisfy your hotel needs. This is a very cozy, I like it. It's good. It supplies you with everything you need to live. Maybe some food might supply. This room is slightly bigger, but for the same price. So people may be fighting over this. Ah, uh, yeah. There's no furnace. As I said, it's a okay. So this is the medium houses, but actually it is just a medium house. This house is... I, I really enjoy building it. Actually. It's got a nice balcony with grass, so pig and sheep spawn. Next room. So these are now the big houses. This house isn't actually fully finished, but it's almost. It's very, very open, great views, lovely like overhang in the bedroom. Nice double bed there for you, all you fatty. So this is now the second large house. At the same price as the other house, but personal opinion is a bit better. The landscape, little sheep. And now, onto the final house, the luxury house. And now, this house is previously being bought by NT, because he helped me supply it. And it is actually not finished. But very close. So this is a lovely jacuzzi, swimming pool, great views. And now this, just for Dave, there is a triple bed. Because we all know how fat Dave is. Triple bed, nice seat, lovely view. And if you would now follow me to the second bedroom, even though it's only for one person. And now on to the final area of the hotel, which is what everybody wants. The disco. Now, the idea is that everyone will be in minecart, spinning around, 
aimlessly while slightly hovering in front of the minecart so they look funny. And then maybe someone will get rid of the track so that you can eventually fall off. But yeah, this is the disco where we rave. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, this is the Captain Brown Hotel. Come by soon. So thank you, Captain Brown, with the very nice uh, hotel in progress there. Looking forward to the disco. Okay, so this is my place. It's uh, quite nice. I like it. We've got a main room here. We've got a multi-purpose crafting room with uh, well, I can demonstrate some plugins in here. Right, uh, and here we have chests with that have been privatized with locket. It's a plugin. All right, so only only I can go in this particular chest. And then this iron block right here is actually an anvil. And what's great about it is you can right-click on it and it will repair your tools. That's epic. Right now, the uh, back door and balcony. Right here. I just put some random torches down so that you can see the mess we're at. Yep, I like it. It's quite fast, I can't much say about it really. Okay, so here's the uh, mob defense room. Mobs often spawn in the front room, so I built this so that I could. Uh, shoot them and kill them in style load it up turn off the power you know stop the carriage from going to the redstone and then activate upstairs there's only one little room it's a bedroom i'm gonna put a jacuzzi upstairs i think and we've got the fire and then the little ladder which leads to burning zombies <laughs> no it leads to my uh, farm and bridge okay so here we go let's go through the little corridor here and uh, we found a little uh, decorative waterfall in the middle there I think it looks quite nice classic and we got now it says sugarcane farm but really I've recently stopped the sugarcane production because I think mobs can spawn in the, uh, in the greenhouse whenever it is sugarcane kind of sucks so anyway that's that done all right let's go down the ladders again and even further down it's the waterfall generator. It's quite simple really. You just get some dirt and uh, place it in front of the source blocks to stop the waterfall. Peter Anderson started it on the start of the video. So thanks to him. The great thing about this other waterfall is that you can use it to get down very quickly. Geronimo! Oh, looks like someone uh, is going down soon. Anyway, so under the house we've got a little mine here. I dig out. Uh, this is a five level mine, so uh, I'm just going to take you through this now. Level one, which I never use. And then after a while we shall come to level two, which I never use. Uh, level three, which I have used, but only to get a bit of gold. Level 4, which I use for diamond, and level 5, which I also use for diamond. What's weird about it though is level 4 has grass growing on it, I don't know what that's all about. And there's no light source from the sun. Anyway, so this is the, the entrance to the server. It's a private server at the moment, so you've got me, uh, NT, which is the admin, Peter Entrustle, which is also an admin. And you got uh, Captain Brawl, Mr. Chidi, uh, Pandas Are Best, uh, who else? Oh yeah, Don Azza, you know, and the Golden One, they all go on the server. Um, oh, also Reelunk, but he's not really part of the crew. Yeah, he's just selling something right there. He's just like a newcomer to the server. He's, he, he's alright, it's kind of annoying sometimes. He used to have a house built in, well a room built into my house, but I blew it up with TNT because I got bored of him. But anyway... So, Mr. Shitty built uh, that little cobblestone tower from before. Oh, it's raining. And I don't know who built this bridge, but it looked quite nice. It basically connects that little beginning bit there. 
uh, to these rooms, which I can't go in because of locket, as I will now demonstrate. So yeah, that's what's great about locket. That's a little room in there. And then we come down here. No, uh, we'll close the door behind me, I think. This is Captain Brawl's fine establishment. I'm not going to give you a tour because it's kind of private. Uh, I mean, before when I did those camera angles, I kind of like snuck in. I, I dug a hole underneath and got in. That was pretty uh, awesome. This is my first ever house. This is uh, before every, you know, like, basically day one of the server. When it looks like some tard has gone and dug the way under my door. So I'm going to have to buy some dirt. And uh, fill it in. Really? There you go. Yeah. Get some clean stone, but oh well. I'll just get some cobblestone. So, also, the server IP, it changes every day, at least, at least once a day. So, if I do give any one of you YouTubers out there the IP, I mean, you brought a limited time to use it. Okay, seriously. But that is if you don't get banned for being uh, disruptive. Because it is not a public server, it's a private server. I'm not sure if it is going to be public yet because the version of Craft Bucket isn't very good that my uh, friend NT has got. You know, it's kind of a last resort sort of thing he's had to use. You know, so. Anyway, so it can't really hold too many people on the server at one time, that's the problem. Anyway, this is the spawn here that I've been studying for a while. It's got different exits to go through. Oh, a creeper. Let me see if I can take care of him. Wait. Oh, we can't go. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of creeper explosions recently. Oh, God. Mm. Mm, there you go. Right, maybe I can get some water and, like, like push him out. Right. Right, I'm going to try that. Oh, it's protected. Oh, well. Alright, let's go and kill this bitch. Whoa. And where's he gone? Come here. Come here. Oh, zombie. Oh, yeah. Over there in the corner. Um, well, I just need to look for this zombie here. Is that protected? Yeah, that is. I built a little furnace house as well. I like it. Oh, dispenser trap. I think Real made this. He likes to build random things that don't fit in. Oh, God. Well, acrobatics are now level 28, so that was worth it. So, yeah, thank you for watching my little uh, tour of my place. And I'll see you soon. I'm going to sleep now. There you go.